The Sean Moody for Governor campaign is defending Moody against a 12-year-old charge of sexual discrimination. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Lindsay Mills. The complaint was made public today by the New York Times, which wrote an article detailing the claim by a woman who used to work for Moody's car repair business. New Center's Don Carrigan joins us now from Gorham, where Moody spoke with reporters less than an hour ago. Don, what do you have to say? Hi, Pat. Well, Moody is essentially saying, uh, although not in those precise words, that the complaint is not true. Now, we don't know if this qualifies as an October surprise that politicians often talk about, but there's less than a month to go until the election, so this is a serious matter for Sean Moody. His campaign claims the New York Times story is politically motivated, the main Republican Party even calling it a smear. This whole issue goes back to 2006 when a woman named Jill Hayward was fired by Moody's Collision Center. She then filed a sexual discrimination complaint with the Maine Human Rights Commission. Uh, in that complaint, she claims that she was fired by Sean Moody because she had just had a baby. She says that Moody fired her while she was on maternity leave. The newspaper report even claims that he came to her apartment to do that. The complaint with the Human Rights Commission quotes uh, her saying that Moody told her, I want to see you grow, and now that you have had your baby, I'm not sure that you can do that in this job. Also saying that, he, that she was no longer going to be able to do the job in Biddeford because she had had the baby. Sean Moody came to talk to reporters, joined by a number of employees, a number of uh, women employees uh, from Moody's Collision Center. He said he's limited in what he could say because of a non-disclosure agreement, but essentially denied the charges. Don, honestly, we have never let anyone go in this company for any other reason other than performance-related issues, period. Moody's has, has a process in place, a coworker owned. Every location operates autonomously in terms of hiring and if they have to, in the case that we let someone go. So nobody is ever let go as an individual decision on anyone's, anyone's part. That takes a group of leadership amongst that location that makes the, ultimately makes that decision on who we're going to hire and if we have to let someone go. Now, uh, a no, several of those women employees, uh, Moody's uh, Collision calls them co-workers, uh, who joined him uh, spoke in uh, support of Moody and of the company, saying that it's very supportive to women and to women with children. Moody said, again, that he could not give details of the, uh, of the whole situation because of that non-disclosure agreement that both sides signed. He said he couldn't even actually state that the allegations are untrue because of the non-disclosure agreement. He did say that he believes this is politically motivated, claiming that, uh, that Democrats have been trying to dig up dirt on him. And as we mentioned, Pat, his campaign says, uh, claims the whole thing is uh, a politically motivated news story. Pat? Don Kerrigan and Gorham tonight, thanks.